all right welcome back bad news for southern states as chief of defense staff says they should expect this the nationwide insecurity challenge currently plaguing nigeria has kept its residents sleeping with one high open as the unexpected has become the expected and norm of the day every part of the nation has various nigerian security operatives combating with different forces either it is boko haram and bandits in the north ipop slash esn unknown government and then killer fulani s men in the south and southeast no part of the nation is free from insecurity challenges these days and the chief of defense staff general loki irabo has informed nigerians that more military action should be expected by nigerians especially in the southeast all right this is coming after mr president issued out new directives concerning the growing insecurity challenges all over the country after a series of meetings with the chief security personnel. The general and chief of defense staff has now promised that the instructions of the president will be followed and executed to the latter as they try to curb the insecurity challenges further stating that states in the southeast should expect more military action. The general stated that there was now little calm in the north, west and the north central as a number of bandits and their leaders including Boko Haram forces have experienced the full brunt of the Nigerian army in recent weeks. Attention is now turned to the states in the southeast. In the southeast, you've also been following the report. All right, and then as it is, while the general might have cleaned up the luggage a bit, what he is trying to say is that more chaos will be brought against the forces who are making the southeastern states unsafe. All right, and then my people majority of people have actually reacted to this well and then according to what has been gathered well majority of people have been like you are not god buhari is not god well what has the southeasterners done to deserve this humiliation well a lot of things are keep coming in and then somebody has said it that the esn and the high pop we know are not terrorist group and then it's only god that will continue to arrest you people one after the other you can't continue to humiliate this set of people well according to chuku jude ngozi he has said that well is that a threat by the defense chief or what how can a trained high rank officer could say such nobody should fail to be the best because you don't underestimate your fellow man this applicable statement made before the war by Gowan. And then, meanwhile, should that be a challenge? No to everybody is an error for such comments. Let us be careful with our words, which can cause big problems. At times, let's remember Macbeth and then Mark Duff in the literature, please. All right, this has been said by Chuku Jude. Ngozi. According to Reverend Henry, I said, Well, Loki Rabbo, please treat us like Moses treated his Israelite brothers in Egypt when Pharaoh was subjecting them into slavery. Don't shoot your southern brothers, it's going to be a genocide. Please stay clear and then don't be part of the shooting. This has been said by Reverend Henry Ikopara. All right, it is also said by Stanley Wachuku that what nonsense, your house is on fire and you are chasing rats. Boko Haram has captured and then hoisted their flag in certain local government areas and towns in the core north and the Nigerian army appears overwhelmed. It is the southeast, south-south and the southwest that you want to 
test your military process well it is rather a shame to say the least all right and uh, that's another one i think i don't know what's actually happening to our nigerian army right now we have insecurity We're talking about terrorism it's in the north majority of people have been displayed right now a majority of people have been sent out of their villages simply because Boko Haram terrorists are you no know, have invaded the town and they are terrorizing this set of people and yet the Nigerian army could not be in fact they are unable to defeat this Boko Haram but look at unharmed civilians innocent people even the small vigilante set of people the ESN vigilante people that are protecting their people those are the people they want to face they want to test their you no know, energy they want to test their energy on is that is that called for is that what you people were called to do i think this set of people have overstepped what you no know, they are supposed to be doing because even the international community is not even working and that is why they are gallivanting they are just doing any how they want now they are killing innocent souls everywhere they are calling IPOP, who is just defending his, his uh, how would I put it, his vineyard, let's say the vineyard, his own community's village against attacks. And the next thing, you have attacked them, a terrorist group. I think it's only God that will judge all these people one by one. And they should not forget what happened to Abba Kiari. We keep saying that. Yes, that is to tell you that there is God. And these people are pushing God to a level to which God will start biting them and then they don't know they, they thought it's a joke but let's see and watch provided you are still doing your evil thing God is watching well a lot of things are actually been said and then according to Anya Obi Emmanuel he says well he says very soon every Nigerian person will carry gun to fight against the Nigerian soldiers Soldiers will soon remove their uniforms because of attacks from Nigerians. Nigeria must scatter continue with the use of force. That's another strong one. Well, Boko Haram is no longer important for you to defeat. It is the innocent people who voted Buhari into powers. You after idol soldiers like Irabo is talking. Hmm. That is serious. Well, Boko Haram is no longer important. Okay, I think that has been taken. All right, and then Chief of Staff, stop wasting your time to tell Nigerians you sent more soldiers to deal with us for defending our rights as a citizen of Nigeria. Just start to destroy. Destroy. Don't talk too much. You cannot kill the Southern because of Fulanis. That gun you command the soldiers to attack us with, you will get tired with not, with not continue with the use of force to address Nigerian issue. Well, but that I think I quite understand God what he has just said so far, and he has been able to make his point. Well, that is it. Well, and Bethel Tabernacle says, well, they have caused Nigeria. Nigerian army is Boko Haram and Boko Haram is Nigeria army. My daddy late soldier will not talk like that. Hmm. That's serious. Well, dead to hell, God is no man. It's better that way. That's another one coming from potent a folly. All right, I think this is a full name, man. He says it's better that way. Put an end to all this nonsense okay well that has been said well, meanwhile replying to that kenneth abamba said that well that means what is that a means of settling issues or something else is in your mind all right okay i think he's asking that is that a means to settle issue well the truth of the matter is god is bigger than all the set of people there is no way now this uh, this uh what is it called the innocent souls that you people are killing on a daily basis you are people are enjoying it and then you are forgotten that you are just like an ant in the hands of god they don't know that 
but this one lasts and i bet you it won't last for them it won't even work for them because god is bigger than them well my people that is it on this one me well let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless